Today's groundbreaking was 20 years in the making, something that officials say was long overdue. The Goffstown Women's Prison opened in 1987. It was supposed to be a temporary site following a federal court decision that said New Hampshire's women inmates, compared to men, had unequal access to services. What's important is that we have a justice system and a correction system that treats people fairly. And that's the primary reason why the state broke ground on this women's prison today, <laughs> equity. Close to 200 women in New Hampshire are behind bars, and although the trend is going in the right direction, statistics show once they get out, many of those prisoners will return. The women's recidivism rate has been decreasing in the past several years. Um, we're down into the low 30s for a recidivism rate. Certainly, we'd like to be lower than that. But lowering the population and the rate they return to jail means dealing with mental illness. Officials say as much as 80% of female prisoners are being treated. It's really about treating the severe mental illness that many of our women present with. Back in 1996, Holly Wheatley, in jail for theft and forgery, did not take advantage of the mental health and drug programs. She ended up back in jail in 2009 again for theft. This time, she's addressing her issues, working toward her release. She's hopeful the new prison will make it easier and a priority to help the women who suffer from addiction or mental health issues. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what it's going to be about. We're going to wait and see if it's going to live up to everything that it's expected to be. I personally feel that it can be, but it's going to take everybody working together to make it happen. In Concord, Suzanne Rontree, WMUR News 9.